Hey, Heezer. It's nice seeing you. I just posted a little a few things on Facebook, so uh, I was away here for a moment. But I'm gonna set up the music also, I think, because it's always a little different whenever I stream. I think it was on number two when people was, were complaining. Temeria, that's what matters. So now it should be just fine. Let's see if anything changed on the leaderboards. Damn, people have climbed up fast. Well, I'm not too far. I think I could definitely pop up some more numbers higher up. So uh, let's get things started. I'm going to open up a few cards soon. I think I'll do a ranked match for starters before. I have like 16 packs to open that I saved up. So there's a new rank system right now. I'm not very far from the top of the leaderboards. You actually earn a lot of points by winning. Uh, I don't know about losing too much because uh, I only lost enough. once and I didn't Let's really notice. But there's a lot of UI improvements that are really cool, I gotta admit. I love this whole versus thing at the opening screen. It's kind of nice. So I got some discard action going on here, although these are a little bit of a dead cards if I don't have anything for any cards for discarding. And I'm against Squiatel, so they don't really run any weather effects, so I'll take this out, that's fine. And that's actually quite good. Yeah, I'm gonna definitely keep the rest, so. This is a pretty good opening hand. <laughs> That's uh, the name that I gave for uh, my Squiatel deck. I, I don't really play Squiatel, I just really hate them. Really, really bad, so I call it Cancer, because it's something that a lot of people are playing. Just a very standard buff deck. Well, this is gonna be very difficult. It's a dwarf deck. Maybe I can open up with, uh, yeah. You're good. Just gonna go a little really bit good. solid here. Don't you fret about me. I take care of myself. Really? I mean, that kind of helps me. <laughs> but weird to see this coming up. Oh fuck. Okay, now I get it. It's pretty smart. It's pretty damn smart. I'm actually this this match looks a little grim for me. <laughs> I gotta admit. Um, that's. Need a good slapping. He's probably. I mean, if he if he's looking to buff. Uh, yeah, Squirtle is definitely my ass. So it's just such an annoying class. I never even. I never really related to it, even in uh, even in the Witcher game itself, because. It's not that I hate on dwarves or elves or whatever, it's just I, I can't really relate to these cards, like, buff like crazy and, I don't know, just kind of, I just, I hate buff decks, I really do. Um, let's... let's I, can't on you what do you say? I have a feeling you will probably pass on the round, for, for the most part, because, whoa, they buffed this card. Remove three and gain two, so it's. Yeah, I'm a deck racist. I will sure. prove my worth. That's it. Good. We got rid of this one. That's actually something that I'm pretty happy about. This is a great card to have, as long as I don't actually draw a Dimeridium Bomb, which I could. Blah. Oh, they didn't buff this. I just realized. It's the buff from this freaking silver dude. God damn, man. That is harsh. That is real harsh. What a cancer deck. How are you supposed to defeat this fucking thing if all of his cards are going to be super buffed now? Damn. How much does it buff every time that you put it on the board? One strength. Ah, oh, well, whatever. Used it twice. It's actually a, a Skellige card that does that only on one effect, so it's not that very hard. Um... I don't know if I really want to commit here, but bow before a modern Freya. Whatever. 
might skip this round after this. Yeah. Gain two strength for each dwarf unit in your side of the battlefield. Well, let's buff Saris. See how much he's gonna willing is gonna be willing to put up on uh, an ambush guard. I couldn't. I really don't know which one it's gonna be. Um, probably something that buffs his units like crazy. My commander's horn will be quite a waste if I use it here, to be honest. I think it's a good time to actually pass. Yeah, worst case. I yeah. like the way you die, human. Yeah, pretty crazy card. He kind of anticipated that I'm actually going to pass this one, which is interesting. How many cards do I have in my Gary Bird? I have 10, uh, not including any kind of special cards, meaning that this will gain 10. It might even gain more when I think about it if, uh, if I'm going to use Birna, but this is such a bad time to use Birna, like honest to god. Seven Mahakam. Fuck my life, dude. Let's use this in Birna. I, here. I could uh, potentially gain some more strength on this one. But I stand to lose this probably. Regardless. So be it. Mm, okay, this will come out, which is great. This is kind of useless for me, so this one. Free as be the bravest. God damn, man. Level 15 is nice. I don't know how many people are in the stream right now, but I just want to say that if anybody has any type of, like, questions or regarding new cards or whatever cards are on the board or archetypes, just feel free to... You know, just ask whatever you want in chat, and I'll be more than happy to elaborate whether it's strategy or just the card itself and what it does. Generally, I'm I'm playing a discard deck, a Skellige discard deck. So uh, I don't know if it means much for anyone here, but uh, whatever. You know, you're more than uh, more than happy to ask, and I will oblige. Oh, my turn is almost over. Holy crap! That's not getting it. So there's more buffs. More buffs. So buffs, buffs, buffs. Should I pound it into a pillar? Oh my god. It's fucking insanity, man. Well, I can resurrect Ceres. Why have you summoned me? Oh my lord. Well, I got completely and absolutely royally fucked here. Here's the better loot than in your wildest. No. All right. Let's give him a good game. It was a pretty good deck, obviously. Didn't even get a single round. Plus 35. Well, still around the 800, so it's not the end of the world. Let's open up some packs. Saved up some. See if I get any good legendaries. Later, Heezer. Nice to see you, man. One rare. Definitely have all of these. I think I actually missed this one. It's nice to have. And uh, I got all of these already, so whatever. It's just scraps. All comments. Everything I already have. And well, 
Yeah. There's a very small chance that I'll actually run a Northern Realms deck with three promotes, but since I'm missing one, so I'll get it. Let's open another kick. Ah, it's good to see that you're actually staying here. Thought you meant you have to go. Okay, I needed one of these, I think, so that's great. Got some more Scarretail cards for the off chance that I'll actually make a Scarretail deck whenever it will be. Um, I actually have all of these. I'll just get the rare for more scraps. No legendaries yet, unfortunately. Kind of sucks. Got all of these as well. Oh, there are some cards that I'm missing here. Holy shit, this is new also. Geralt Art, move all non-gold units on the opposite row back. Remove one strength from all moved units. Damn, this is a cool card. And it's neutral. Fucking hell. Uh, he's or I've saved up uh, for some games. No, I actually saved it up. I like to buy. I like to open several packs. So sometimes I save up a lot of. Uh, how do you call it? Whatever the the currency of the game. I just open up open it up, uh, straight up one after the other. I did pay for some kegs, but uh, it was. I don't remember. It was like uh, two or three weeks back past or something. Damn, okay, this 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 freaking legendary is amazing to be honest. It's uh there are so many uses for this in a monster deck. I would actually use this now, I think. Yeah, let's make a fucking monster deck, dude. Let's do this. Ah, such a cool new card. Seriously. I'm pretty lucky here. Alright, more commons. Nice. Eh, not bad. Now Missed some of these. More. Oh, I definitely need this one. There's a monster deck that I want to make based on uh, ghouls. So I'll take this one. Got ten more. Mm, one more rare. Wow. Alright. Already own taller and uh do I really need another Necker Warrior? Maybe. I don't know. Let's take it just to have it. Whatever. Another keg. Nice. Just crap. Now for more. Hmm. Well, I'm missing one of the Clan Haymay, so let's. Three is the top uh, amount that you can have in terms of cards in any deck, so having threes is pretty cool. Uh, not cool, but it's just uh, it's good. Oh, that's a new card too! Mutagen or a Spore effect. That's pretty cool. That's pretty nice. What else do we have here? Mm, blue Stripes. There's a lot of buff decks in in Northern Realms, but I tend to, ah, let's, let's take it. whatever. Let's just go for it. Hmm. Just more scrap. Three of those, this is all scrap, basically. But no, actually this, I could use this, honestly, yeah, for sure. I, I don't use it in my current discard deck, because it feels a little bit of a... Like an empty... Like it's, it's taking kind of a hole, like an empty spot, but... Uh, you know, whatever. Maybe I'll make a deck with three discard buffers. Goody. This is a new ambush. Not that I'm playing Scoyotel at this point still, but... Dolplathana Trapper. When a revealed non-gold unit appears on the row, remove 5 strength from all non-gold units on the row. That's not too bad, to be honest. This I already have. 
We got ourselves some legendaries. All right, this is a really solid Scarlet Hell card, but since I really don't play Scarlet Hell too much, I really love this one. I love Northern Realms and uh, remove one strength from all non-gold units on the opposite row. Gain one strength for each. Yeah, why not? I think this is a very good card, actually. I would love to make a deck with this one. Oh, we got an epic. Hell yeah. Holy shit, this is a new card. At the start of your turn, remove one strength from the strongest non-gold units. Except self. Mm, so this means that it's going to debuff by one strength all the strongest units on the battlefield, including my, my own. It's interesting. I don't know how useful this actually will be. Because, like, how much is a one strength? Hmm. Maybe the writing is not too good. Maybe it's actually a powerful effect, and I don't know. It's happened in the past, so... Now for more. We will see. Let's get a third for this one. Hey, Ramos. Nice to see you. Oh well, I'll take another Stennis because you can't have actually copies and it will be a good target for scrap. Got four more kegs. Let's open another. Mm, just scrap. Three. Yeah, this will also get scrapped. Ramos, how can I even forget you, man? You're my dog. Three of those... Oh, I could... I don't know, actually, if I could play another one of these. Let's take it, just in case. Could be scrapped, because uh, I don't think you can play double silver. I could be wrong, though. All of those I already have. Um, yeah. Just more scrap. This is the last one, I believe. Yeah. Now for more. Nothing of import. Okay, let's just scrap these. Human sm See how much I actually gain here. 300, I believe. 300 is not bad. Oh, they changed some of these loading screen cards. 355! That almost puts me up at buying a legendary. Yep, just 20 scrap more. But actually, since I, I really want to make a... I really want to improve my weather control deck, my monster weather control. I want wanted to craft this card for a while, and 200 is not that much, so actually I'm going to go ahead and do that. So now we got Marigold's Hail, Hailstorm. What this does is put the weather effect on both the melee and the siege row. So I'm going to go ahead to my weather control and just improve it a little bit now that I actually have... Uh, Geralt Ard. That's freaking amazing. I mean, that actually such it's such a killer. It's a killer card, literally. If I use Marigold's Hailstorm, Hail it's pretty insane. Let's put it up. How many? I got five and six. Okay, so now I'm gonna have this. I don't really know how much I'm. Like, the Dimeridium Bomb would be useful for me, to be honest, in this deck. 
I'm just assuming, because if I want to buff my units, I better actually have Commander's Horn, and on most cases, um, it'll actually be bad for me, because it will... Yeah, the Dimeridium battle would have helped uh, a great freaking deal um, in the last fight that I had, no doubt, but... Uh, it's just, when you're playing a monster deck, it is different because you get like a ton of minions and you want to buff them up, right? So, <laughs> so I don't know, because like, I think actually a Swallow is, is, while it's a nice option, it's better to have a Thunderbolt to buff several units. But yeah, if I have a lot of units that kind of buff each other, like, you know, this... Like Ancient Foglet, like Wild Hunt Warrior. What are you talking about? Water Hag is spawning rain, okay? Marigold's Hailstorm uh, makes frost and rain. Caranthir spawns frost, and I removed the Biting Frost here because I have Marigold's Hailstorm. I want to use more Drowners, that's the point of it, because Drowners move a minion to the, to the Siege Row. Uh, I don't know if I... Do I have another Drowner? I don't think that I do. Do I? Is it a silver? No, it's a bronze. I'm in the bronze row. Yeah, I got one more. Let's put it in. So I have 27 cards. I actually would prefer to take something down. This is... Uh, while it's a good card, I am... I think I'm going to take it out. Because uh, it's not going to survive very well within this row which is going to be rained for the most part. I am relaxed, man. I'm relaxed. I'm just explaining myself, basically. 26 cards. So I have Siri. And we... Do I want to use Siri? I don't think so. I'm just going to take this Geralt off, and I'm going to put this one. There we go. The new card. Man, this is going to be banging like crazy. Um, all right, so... 26 cards. I think it's very solid at this point. I could take the Fiend off because it's not going to survive any type of weather effects, obviously. But uh, is there a room for a Frightener, maybe? Just kind of wondering here. Just giving it a little bit of thought. Where's the Frightener? I know that I have it in here. I think it's a silver card. There it is. Every two turns, if possible, banish a random known go- Oh, that was changed completely. Yeah. In my graveyard. It's not like I can resurrect any kind of- any of my special cards. Why not? I have room for one more, so... is It's not immune to weather effects, though. No. Well, let's try without it first. Let's give it a go, guys. Let's try ranked with a new and improved weather control deck. All right. Oh my god, the Scoia'tael again, man. Somebody just shoot me now. Alright. I think I can make this deck, uh, this hand work, possibly. Oh god, I hate Scoia'tael. I'm already tilted. So, I think the main goal in this round, specifically, would be actually to put Siri down in the next turn and maybe passing, worst case, maybe even just removing uh, removing uh, one of his units. Because, obviously, with my passive, 
with my passive, uh, I'm gonna have the fiend stay on the board unless he's taking it out now. Seems like he wants to. He's I know you're in trouble. I can no. help. Damn, handling Regis on the next turn is quite a bummer. Not gonna lie. Oh, oh, I sense trouble. No, I can't. Kizer, I can't scorch because uh, they're golden units. Scorch works only destroy the strongest non-gold units, so nothing I can do about it. Mm. Let's. I'm even willing to go as far as Eridan. I can't scorch, dude. I can't. Maybe on the next round on on the Regis Vampire, sure, but. Have the thing, all right. I. I'm gonna take this fucker down. And I'm gonna pass it for this one, I think. If he wants to take the win so bad, then yeah. Uh, I could use Corinth here. It's just. It's such a powerful card that I kind of don't like burning him like right at the beginning of the of the game. Kind of sucks to be honest, but uh, you know, no, I'm not gonna use it. I can use it next turn on the vampire, on the Regis vampire. And I got um, Sarah, so he's definitely gonna take her down. I get Siri back, which is really nice, but uh, do I get... No, Aerodin is out. Unlucky, man. Unlucky. At least I don't care about this guy getting debuffed and all that. Shit, I fucking hate when I draw the copies. This is so fucking annoying. Uh, whatever. Let's just draw a lot of his cards now. I could use Geralt, uh, move all dongled units on the opposite row, back. We've given enough, let's get to work! Alright, he's playing his hero power using a silver card. Which one is it? I don't know. Alright, whatever man, let's just keep drawing. <laughs> <laughs> this would be a an insane, um, what do you call it? What is the 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 opposite of scorch? Last switch. Okay, he's drawing. That's actually weird because they changed the mechanics on so many drawing Skellige cards to first discard and then draw. It's so weird that last switch is opposite. It's still like the same way actually after this patch. He draws first, and he discards later. I should even consider doing this in my Skellige deck, because it could be better than using... Yeah, here we go. This dude wants to play with fire. Did I scare you? No, the opposite of Scorch is, um, it's a card that destroys the weakest units, what's its name? Um, I forgot, swear to god I forgot. Let's, uh, let's go for this. Sure, no problem. Sarah, uh, she's immune to weather effects, and every time you you or a card plays any type of weather effect, it um, it uh, raises her strength by three. So that's pretty cool, I'd say. Let's do the art. Get fucked. Oh my god, this card is so fucking amazing. 
It's so good because it, it's it's such a perfect card for weather deck. For a weather deck. It's because it takes the freaking... Oh, the dude is so tilted right now. Yeah, Epidemic, man. Epidemic. That's the one. Waste of arrows, that lot. Oh, this was so fucking good. Dude got fucking fucked. Damn, I got no rain to actually use this one. That sucks major. Major fucking balls. Whatever. It's a dead card, so I'll just put it down. Four cards for him, four cards for me. Alright. He's gonna run out for um, four cards uh, faster. Rally. Really? That's interesting. Got no choice at this point but to use the Corinth here. This removes away one, I think. No, he's using it. Damn. Well, I do have the Scorch. I'm gonna buff these guys first. There's no harm in this. God damn, man. This is such a broken card, it's ridiculous. I might as well probably lost, I think, because of that. What a shame. Yeah, I don't think I have enough strength. Yeah, that sucks. Death comes for you. What a bummer. It was a good art though. It just didn't have enough of my uh, weather effects. Still a nice, a nice game. Congrats to what's your face, Galica. Good game. I am moving towards another pack though, which is pretty cool. 15 scraps, that's nice. You get more scraps after this patch, I think, after every ranked game you do, which is really nice. That's something that I kind of like. 27 less. Ah. Started out the season at 600, so I guess it's still an improvement. Yeah, still a good game. No doubt. Dagon. Man, I actually need to consider using Dagon instead of Eridin on this deck. Because I want to have more weather options. I think I might actually try that. Why not? No reason not to. Art is freaking crazy here. Especially with Marigold's hail Hailstorm. Hailstorm. Hurry, Hailstorm. Even though it's such a good card and I like it, it's just... I don't have any cards in hand right now that actually affect it. I think I'm gonna get rid of the Scorch. Now this is fucking amazing. Let's go with this. Alright, so I start first. This is a great opener with the uh, Thunderbolt. I wonder how long you lost! Get out of here! Freaking Nithral. Mm, same. Alright. What do we do now? Let's go with Eridan. If only I had a fog. I don't have right now. Kinda sucks. Cause I don't wanna use hard. Oh! He just made shit easier for me. Why, thank you. Let's do this, guys, shall we? Ball bam! Oh my god, it feels so fucking good. This card, man, I <laughs> I can't believe it. This is just ridiculous. 
This is unbelievable. Oh, if he's not, if he's not passing this round, I don't know, man. <laughs> this card is like enemy passes the round. <laughs> Swear to God. That's great. That sucks. Whatever. Siri's not bad, actually. It's good for actually. Oh, oh, gotta I stop saying so much, actually. I swear to God. It's good for drawing his cards out. Is what I meant. I got Karanth here, and I got the Woodland Spirit, and I got. The Ard one. What's my last golden one? Because I'm thinking like... This is a great card actually. This is uh, Drog. Heezer is uh, a card that's doing Epidemic actually. Destroys all... Like, it's not Epidemic but it's almost, uh, almost the same. I guess it, they changed it because I think it did the Epidemic uh, effect. Right now it's destroy all non-gold units with three strengths or lower in both sides of the battlefield. Yeah. Interesting. What do I do? I don't know. I think I pass. Fuck it. I'll get Siri back. I'll have eight cards he's going to have to use because he starts the next round. So uh, I'm going to have the card advantage. I'm actually quite okay with that. Great! Oh, this is fucking great news, man. Except for the fact that actually Dagon can spawn a first light, so... Uses a rally. Are you for real? Don't make me laugh! What the fuck is that? Why would you not use rally? Whatever, man. Use the Drowner. <laughs> what do I do? I'm going with the Foglet. Worst case, it takes a... It takes a removal. Nah. He sort of fucked me up there, but... Uh, can definitely handle it. Do you want to tickle me? It'll be, it'll be pretty bad if he actually gets to remove this. Yeah. Not a lot to do about that, honestly. I think uh, the safest play at this point would be to go with the Woodland Spirit. It's a good combo. Sure, it helps him as well, but uh, it's fine. Mm, he wants to use it again. It's interesting. Mm, I think I he still has the Dagon effect. That's why I don't want to use my last. Uh, yeah, let's since I uh, since it's actually doing the frost effect and. Coranthir does as well, so I won't be losing a cross here. No so let's do that. I, I wonder whether he's gonna opt to clear the weather at any point. I don't think he is. It doesn't seem like he's trolling. Yeah, it's fine. It's pretty okay for me as well, to be honest. Let's take one of his over there. Like, whatever. Really does nothing for me. Come on, use this. Yes, clear the fucking weather. Be a man. 
or don't rally fucking a he has nothing six cards in his deck eight on mine that is hella weird man well no more weather effects i guess so. an extra weather card now i'm gonna get so fucking trolled he's gonna use his clear skies yeah, whatever, man. Hmm. Kick him in the nuts. It is definitely what I'm trying to do, Ramus. Death comes for you. I'll try to get another buffed one the next round. I am like terrified. I don't know what the fuck he's doing. It definitely doesn't like. Death is he, you. Is one more card gonna be enough here to actually like? No. I took it. Good game. Well, they can't get it because uh, whatever they disconnected. But nice, not bad. Two rounds won. So I'm halfway through. 15 ore is nice, and I'm gonna level up soon. The most, single most important thing to keep in mind while playing Gwent, um, it's a good question, Ram. Um, almost 800, that's nice. I think the most important thing is, um, well, probably two things. Because I think some of the most important effects in Gwent would be Scorch, obviously. You want peace? Fight for it. Just, you know, cards that you completely, completely world. destroy your units. Which are very similar to, you know, very similar to Hearthstone. How you have uh, just cards that completely, um, they bypass um, Divine Shields, buffs, and all kinds of stuff like that. So you need to be, like, alert of these cards here in Gwent as well. Like Scorch, like Epidemic, and kind of like remember to not over buff or, you know, try to play around them. Keep your cards safe and uh, at the same time... I for that battle. At the same time, try to think what your opponent is going to do on the next turn. Try to read it as fast as possible also. Um, because whatever they're going to do is going to have a really huge impact. Uh, if you can read into that, you can kind of plan ahead with the cards that you already have in hand. Later, he's there. Let's see, this one removes one strength from a random opposing non-gold unit whenever a gold card appears. So this guy definitely wants... <sighs> definitely wants to put more golden cards on the board. That is a little interesting, I would, I gotta say for sure. I'm willing to sacrifice some of my cards for something like this. I don't care about Siri too much, so. That's cool. Alright, so. That's such a fucking dead card. I hate it as fuck. So fucking. Just gonna put it down because seriously, there's nothing this card can do. Four to six. Um, I got the Woodland Spirit for another fog. I wouldn't mind um, just wasting this one for now. Just buffing a little bit. Tell me you jest. Fourteen. I think I'm gonna pass. I don't know how many more of these ballistas he has in his deck, but uh, they seem to be essential for his. Ah, uh... uh, this one was resurrected, actually. Well, it's quite okay to 
to be honest. You can try to win them all, but you won't. Mm, these guys are gonna get buffed, I feel. It's probably gonna get more moves. Tiny vettles. Hungry like a wolf, I am. Mm, it's the last round. And most of my other cards will be weather effect, so maybe... If he didn't remove this one, he might not remove Sarah. Do you want to tickle me? Although it's most likely that she will get out. Thank not me. Thank my little eh? Another... Resurrects. Hmm. Let's start with the spirit. This will get buffed now, which is pretty nice. And I will get a lot of stuff. Oh shit, man. That's a combo. That's a sick ass fucking combo. I should have Karanthiered earlier. This fucks me up royally. No, I won't, no, no point in doing that for now. I'll go with Aridin. Okay. Do I want to use it now? Probably not. Yeah, fuck it. The wild one. Well, that's not an issue. I mean, I can do that too. Not really anything to target, so... Whatever. I have a commander's horn of my own, so. Sure, be glad to. Two more gold pieces coming up. Okay. God damn. It's fucking crazy. There is no escape. God. Yeah, that was perfectly timed. Just a little too late. Men of Kedwin, attack! Wow, what an annoying deck. Hi. <sighs> All right. If I if I Karantheered one turn earlier, would have been the difference. I got a good game from the good from the dude. Nithral. Yeah, it's a good card. Crush those vermin. No point in this deck. Any last words? So I got the Hailstorm, this is a dead card, I can definitely replace it. Uh, Ard, I definitely want to use. And the Woodland Spirit is pretty okay. Uh, I'll get, a, get rid of the Scorch, I think. Just because I feel like I'm a little low on units. Live the king! Hmm. 
I'm not sure if the fiend is a great choice, cause like, like I don't know that the hailstorm is such a big card. I just don't know if I want to use it this early. I don't have any drowners to push to the sea drone either. I do have art, but uh, but do I really? Like these are gonna get buffed. Um, I just don't know, man. I don't know. I am going to give the round. I think that's the best play here. If I hadn't played the, the Fiend, then uh, maybe it would have been better to use it like earlier, the weather effect. But since he's going for like an all-out crazy combo, he's going to burn a lot of medics to get these guys out back. And eight... To start with on the next round is pretty good. Now I have a ring guy, which is cool. That is pretty cool. So what's he gonna start with? I'm gonna st start with the Falklands. What the fuck is this? Dash. Ah, I saw this card. When destroyed, move to your deck and gain three base strength. I don't know how useful it is for this for this guy's next round. Because if this moves to your deck, I mean, this deck is a lot of cards. More cards than mine. It's not very likely to actually draw this. In the case that it dies after this round. When destroyed, move to your deck. Interesting. Very interesting. I'm gonna go with Sarah. Do you want to tickle me? Could probably be destroyed very, very quickly, but... Tell me you jest. Nope. That is pretty damn perfect. Let's go with the Hailstorm. Wow, it actually counts as two effects in one. Damn, I like that. Really like that. You stand before royal majesty. Seems like he wants to uh, pass this. Next turn. If he's using a spy. Ideally, I would have passed, but since I lost the former round, I can't really um, afford to pass this one. So I'll just uh, get rid of this. Uh, yeah, I expected him to pass this one. Now, let's get lucky. Please keep Sarah in the board. Please, 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 please. No. Alright. Still got a lot of work on. I got all weather effects in hand. Which is pretty awesome. And uh, I could definitely use this to my advantage. I got two fogs in hand even, so let's use this one. Just make things complicated to begin with. Hmm. Remove two strength. I don't like that at all. I'm gonna start working on destroying this little motherfucker. He probably has a first light. I'm already... Let's show him what real art is. What are you planning to play? I can wait another round for this one. Death comes for you. But I don't want this one to get buffed because it doesn't help me at all. Is he planning to buff this guy? I don't know. I 
got another one coming up. There is no escape. And now there's no support for this dude, so... And I got Aerodin, so... I am very, very comfortable with this situation. Let's go! Yeah, that's actually quite okay. It's totally cool with me. Um, I'm gonna go with Aerodin. It's gonna be much harder to remove him now that Scorch is out of the way. Tell me you jest. Yeah, what else, dude? Um, Woodlands Spirit. More resurrects. Onward! Attack! Do I want Karanthir here? Probably, because I want to Commander's Horn something soon. Not your lucky day. That does not even bother me in the slightest at this point. Mm, I'll go with the horn. Time Radium Bomb would suck here, but, uh, Solid. All right. Fifteen scraps. Cool. Eight hundred. Climbing. Maybe I'll play a little bit of Skellige deck after this one. You shall die, world. It definitely seems like Scoia'tael has risen in popularity after this patch. I mean, I'm not speaking from knowledge, but just from a little bit of uh, whatever it seems like. And a lot of crappy cards to begin with. And I'm actually even stuck with two copies, which really sucks. But I can start with Siri. Yield and save me some time! Slaughter them to a man! Three strength to, to a non gold unit in your hand. That's not what it did before the patch. Alright, that's quite intriguing. This is an amazing card. I saw this one, it's a new one. If gold converted to silver. He's probably going to remove it from the battlefield altogether. But if that's the case, it means that he's going to invest at least two cards, I think, in order to win the next round. So I'm pretty cool with passing. Yep. Alright, so one card was invested here. Doesn't matter because the eight stays on the board and sure, Siri does not come back to my hand, but uh, I got a very strong opener for the next one. Which is pretty cool. Damn, I'm keeping. Hey, Tail Deal, thanks for following. Welcome to the stream, man. So, another crappy draw. Man, that's just fucking crap. 
sucks big time. That Dimeridium Shackles are pretty cool though. Cool card. It's really amazing that he actually used this on uh, on this one, because I'm going to use a lot of weather effects. Um, let's go with the copies. I prefer not to draw them in the next rounds. That would suck. He passes. My, my, that's so convenient. So, the big finale is actually upon us on this one. Let's try to draw, not cards, but draw out all the strongest combos as much as possible. This is a dead card, so no point in not putting it down. I completely expected the lacerate there. Let's put down the pocket. He's gonna go down most likely also, I assume. And maybe Sarah will come next. Broccolon! What the fuck is this? Brian. Remove an amount equal to this unit's strength from the opposing non gold unit. Man, that fucking sucks. I'm gonna remove this shit. Because I, I feel like he can hero power this crap and use it again. Which I. I Oh, okay, so he wants a little bit of strength there. He's trying to draw out the round as well. For sure. Let's play Aridin. Like, it's a strong card, it's very easy to... Yeah, that's fine. I expected this. But I prefer he uses this on Aridin and not on Sarah. Although he can use the hero power for this, so actually it's not a great... Uh, if only I had rain. But alas, I don't. So I'm gonna waste one buff on Sarah if I use the fog now, but I guess I don't have a choice. I just don't want it to die aimlessly for this. Death awaits us all. Uses it again on Eridan. And he's gonna use it on this one also. Ah, that kinda sucks. It kinda sucks a lot. Alright, let's use the drowner because. More removals! Fucking Scoyatel, man. Scoyatel. All day, every day. I'll do what I can. Unbelievable. Did I scare you? Drink this, you'll feel better. More. <sighs> Talk about an insanely annoying and unbelievable freaking Scoyatel deck. Humans have no place in Broccolon. Yeah, I'm freaking dead. Basically. Oh, Jesus. I hate Scoyatel so much. It is such a cancerous fucking. I would have won this pretty easy if I had a rain effect, but I did not. Damn this card. There will be no negotiation. Again. Any last words? Fuck me sideways, dude. 
I got a rain in hand, in hand at least. And Siri. This is a good hand. I'm gonna keep this. I was hoping you'd say that. Alright. We can deal with that. Don't make me laugh. I wonder if this is the when your opponent passes the turn buff all minions in this row. But whatever, I just don't want to draw draw copies, so let's just draw them now. Expect it also. Hmm. Let's put a fog because I already have another one as well. It's also gonna get removed, so whatever. Have strength, my love. No, it's actually a rally. And another ambush. The storm is coming. Let's enjoy the weather while we what still can. Alright. Do I want to do anything here? I don't think so. I think I just pass. Most likely. Just give him this round. Or is there another play? Nothing really is going to impact very well here. I mean, even if I put another Foglet, I might lose it. I don't even have a Fog effect in hand at the, mo at the moment. And only Aridin puts me ahead. But I don't want to lose Siri that much. I'm gonna pass. Waste of arrows, that lot. Hmm. So I made him waste very, like, two very important key cards. And another card. That's really good for me, to be honest. And I draw like the stupid foglets now because I didn't even use one fog, but uh, let's hope for for a better outcome, I don't know. Fog is great. And, alright. He's going to let me go first because he wants me to use as many cards as I can. And lose Siri possibly if I can as well. No, he's actually... Whoa, okay. I don't remember the last time that a Skoid... Your tricks will not own. save you, Duan. Fine. Ho, oh, ho, oh, I sense trouble. Passes. Um, like, Scorch is so important that I feel bad kind of using it. Maybe Aerodin is also really too good. I'm just gonna use Resistance is one of these. Like, I'm not happy about giving them away, one of those even, but uh, it's sort of okay. I actually prefer this one to stay. This is a bad draw. Although it could kind of, uh, it, it could draw in a removal, so let's give it a go. Any last words? Powering through another foglet. I still have several removals that I can use, so that's okay. I think I should be all right here. Obviously, I can't use Scorch, not even if I use Aridin at any point. He's drawing cards. Stalling, also. Okay, well, 
the most obvious play here, I think, would be to put Sarah down. She's definitely gonna get gunned. Do you want to tickle me? But I'm gonna play a, lot, a bunch of weather crap here, so... Uh, she's definitely gonna use something to remove her. Is that so? That's one of the most powerful fucking cards in the game, man. Oh, what a fucking headache this is. Fine. I gotta try and avoid as many um, as many strong cards as I can right now. Right now it's gonna kill this and this, which is... sucks really bad. Um, I might even prefer him killing Aradin than to lose, um, or maybe I don't. Man, this is a tough call. If I put her, it's going to buff her even more. Uh, I gotta go with this guy, I think. Death! Comes for you. Yeah. Just not gonna buff. Not gonna get buffed fast enough. He's gonna first light. I think. Remove a lot of crap from me. Yeah. And it even buffs my my Sarah. Uh, so she's gonna go down no matter what, even if I put Aridin down. Doesn't matter if I buff her. Let's just put a ring down. negotiation you gotta be kidding me <sighs> that works on goldens I can't believe this this is such a broken card what the fuck dude that is so fucking stupid there are absolutely no words Hey Leo Konami, nice to see you, dude. Everything all right? Feeling okay. God, I hate Squirtle so much. It's such a cancerous deck, because, like, you know, you use, like, main two cards, and you just use them again and again and again, and they just keep doing these crazy, crazy effects, and all these special cards. Like, what the fuck are you supposed to do? Get this over with. There's no way that I'm winning this. I got no no choice but to burn my own units and I can't even catch up. <sighs> this is unfucking believable. What is your last card? Show me. It's not even gonna show me. Wrecked boys! Just ultra wrecked. These fucking devils. 
Hey Aviv, welcome to the stream, man. Nice to see ya. Let's try to change our luck here with my discard deck, see if I have a better luck. Here's the better luck! I said it before, by the way. Um, Sheepy got me. Ah, Sheepy for me. Well, nice Sheepy. Good to see you, dude. Uh, I said it before on stream, but I'm gonna say it again. If anyone has, like, any kind of questions regarding the cards, how this game works, like, you're completely, completely confused and baffled, just, in all honesty, feel free to ask whatever you want. And uh, I'm going to be really more than happy to answer any questions you might have. Your tricks will not save you. Is there Duan. any possibility to just not play Skoya Till all freaking day long? This is getting tiresome. <laughs> Seriously. Your tricks will not save you. Yeah, Duan. yeah, use it again, whatever, bro. They can hide, but there's no escape. We serve her who is virgin, mother, and clone. That's the advantage of playing Skell again, like, and not monsters, because at least here you can actually resurrect your freaking shit when it dies, because it's a little, so it's a little harder for different decks to actually handle this, but, but it's so likely for him to have another removal, like I was saying, so... Um No, I had a few wins to be honest, but uh but I I just really hate this this faction that I'm up against here, uh Skoya Till. It's uh just really annoying. And I think I'm going to just let him have this round, so I'm going to use Donar Calm yourselves. And actually draw something. And that worked pretty well for me. Got rid of a lot of good cards. Hmm. I could win this if I invest a ton of cards, but there's no point. I'm in the lead in terms of card draw. So I'm going to pass. And I get a copy, which sucks big time, but, uh, whatever, we'll handle it as usual. <laughs> Mahakam wasn't built in a day. What? Strength from all other non gold units on the road draw card. Definitely looks like he wants to pass this one soon, but. Uh... Ugh, God's protect us. It's boring just standing here. <laughs> and I'm drawing the other pirate. 
Jesus, man. That's some unlucky shit right there. Well, it was a move for me to get around. I just can't afford to pass because clearly um, he clearly wants to have the card advantage and push for the win on the next one. He's not going to have a weather effect. So. Damn, that was lucky. Holy shit. I wish I played Sieg Siegfrieda before that one. She would have get gotten buffed quite a bit. Okay. I'm gonna buff one of them so they don't get scorched or something. Although now both of these sevens can get scorched pretty easy. Together with my pirates when I'm putting them down. So that's gonna suck. But whatever. Just see how it goes. Totally fine. What do I have in my graveyard? Um, hmm. I could Yaven one of his shit at some point. Not now, obviously, though. Modern Freyr is patient, but she brooks no insult. Let's just scare him a little bit with, uh, I mean, I could, I could potentially, like, lure out a removal from just drawing this guy. Everything alright? Another rally, and, damn. Alright, it's, it's not too bad. It's not too bad at all. What are you gonna remove, or try to remove? Yeah, this guy, that's, that's great for me, to be honest, that's really, really great. Um May Modern Freya watch us and keep us. You're good. Real good. Alright. Probably is gonna lacerate or something. On the siege row. I wouldn't be surprised at all. Everything alright? Oh my lord. Alright, base strength. Or remove base strength. Well, that's not good for me any in one way or another. What is he gonna do? He's probably gonna go for remove... Just because um, I got more numbers on the board right now than he does. Yeah. That's fine, actually. I hope that he kills her, because then this will proc. And I could actually resurrect her. Give us all you got! With uh, the restore. Then I can even chain resurrect, which would be pretty freaking awesome. But I am pretty low on cards. That's the main issue that I got. Another ambush. Everything all right. And more removals. Well. Give us all you got. It's a very very solid uh removal or debuffer in a meta that Dimeridium Bomb is so is so popular it's just it's a debuff that actually sticks because uh, it's just base strength another gotta be kidding me dude alright do 
Do I want to revive that crap? No, it's actually three. It's so freaking low right now. I would have gone for like Yaven, but that would give a lot of strength to his board, which I don't like. You want to pass? You gotta pay. Can't let you through elseways. Damn, how does he have so many c more cards than I do at this point? It's fucking annoying. Peter Piper, Bit Prince Proximo, a pack of pickle peppers by the Pontar. <laughs> hmm. Here's the better loot than in your wildest, wettest dreams! My last option basically would be to Commander Horn. Question is which one, which lane would be the best one? I suppose this is the highest numbers, so probably that. Is it enough? I don't know. Yorvith. Yeah, fine. Now it's gonna pop out. Yeah. Waste of arrows, that lot. Last one. Commander's uh, horn. God's protect us. Oh, he got my card, but it's not gonna give. Holy shit! Oh dear lord, we won a Scoyotel. It happened. And we get to open a box. Fucking awesome. 75 ores. Not a box, I meant uh, a keg with some cards. Wow, you actually get ore for leveling up now. That is fucking sweet, bro. 50. Back to 800. That is awesome. Let's open up a keg. Human in shop. Oh, I could open two actually. Then I'll make another another game, get some more ore, and then we'll do that. Um, after playing this match, I'm going probably to close the stream just because my girlfriend is going to sleep and uh, I don't want to disturb her. So it's been a little shorter than usual, I know, and I'm sorry, but uh, definitely now that there's a ranking system, I am going to stream a hell of a lot. I am down for that. I am down for that. And I think I can make this hand work. point in using the fiend because he's gonna get reduced to zero um, 
I think I'm gonna pass. I actually really want to keep all my cards right now, and uh, these are very strong cards. And yeah, I'm just not very happy about wasting any card that I have right now. White Frost. If I am super fucking lucky, I'm gonna keep my Foglet, but there's no way in hell. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so we both reset. Oh, thank god I got rain. Yeah. Just because he got rid of mine, I think I'm going to get rid of his. Honestly, that's not very good. Not even in the slightest. Mm, I can get them back. Why didn't I use the Drowner f before, actually, now that I'm thinking about it? Chungi! <laughs> Sorry, somebody spoke to me on stream. So I had to leave. Moving this guy. No more buffs for you, dude. Resistance is futile. It's actually pretty good. Sweet. Resistance is futile. So, only Aerodin saves me here. I mean, Karant here too, but he's just way too important, so whatever. Two cards for me, two cards for him. That's gonna die, that stays. It's pretty cool. I got a removal. Pretty happy about that. Can use that on his. Shitter. Which is exactly what I'm gonna do. What's the last card? Is it gonna be enough? He needs six. He needs seven to win. Yes, nothing. We did it, boys. Good game. And I definitely got that f that five ore that we wanted. Some more XP. And 850. What's the state on the leaderboards? Yeah, people are rising up quick. Not too far, to be honest. I mean... What is the lowest here? I don't know. There is no bottom. But I like 850. It's a good spot. 
I've been climbing pretty decently since we started. Let's open two kegs. barrels in the... this land. Shoop won't see what wow wow inside. Alright, not bad. Already got all of these. Let's take Taller for scraps. I think I have two of those, so getting the third is nice. Oh, lucky! Dime Iridium Shackles. That's one I wanted for sure for the cards. Nice. Nice, that was a good fucking day. Well, anyhow, I'm just gonna mill the spares that I got. And uh, that's it for today. I'm gonna stream again, hopefully in the next uh, day or two. Uh, I appreciate anyone who came out and supported the stream and anyone who followed. Thank you, boys. So, uh, yeah, hope to see you guys in the next stream. Have a good night for now. <laughs>